Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to add a lithium polymer battery to any transmitter. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Today I'm going to show you how to add a lithium polymer battery to any RC transmitter. Today our example is going to be the Hubson FPV quadcopter transmitter. Uh, I love this thing, it's a great little fun quad. What sucks about it is the AA batteries. This thing depletes these like crazy. It's just totally useless unless you want to buy more batteries every, <laughs> every day. So we're going to hack this thing, let's add some lithium polymer battery to it. First thing we want to do, we want to see what this thing draws. Uh, this goes the same for any transmitter. So what I've done is we've got it at 5.9 volts. This thing uh, draws six, or supplied with six normally. And what you can do if you have a benchtop power supply, you can just power it up. Uh, this can be done, you can measure the current in multiple different ways. This way is just really, really easy because I have the benchtop supply. So I've already done this. Uh, what I get is uh, 0.6 amps, uh, steady, even uh, even when I'm when I'm flying, when it's got a link to the to the quadcopter. So we know we need to supply this thing with a little over half an amp, and uh, I'll show you how to do that fairly cheap. Now that we know we need to supply a little over half an amp to this, we can go ahead and take it apart. I've already pulled the screws out of this. This one happens to be really easy to work with. Find our battery leads and see what we've got to work with here. Nicely labeled, six volt supply, tons of room in here. So what we're gonna need is a voltage regulator to do this. I am a big fan of the buck converters. We could use a boost buck, but in this case today, I'm gonna use a two amp buck converter. It's good for four to 24 volt in, 1 to 15 volt out at 2 amps. Uh, I advise going at least double the supply needed, uh, maybe a bit more if you want more safety margin, it doesn't hurt, but uh, might as well go at least double. This one, we're good at 2 amps. So we're going to go ahead and take this little guy and we're going to set it up and we're going to hopefully set it right in there inside the transmitter out of the way and this will be our voltage supply to the transmitter regardless of the input voltage we supply to it we're going to use a two cell lipo today these are a one amp hour battery 7.4 volt 20 c they're pretty cheap to buy on ebay this should be a nice little addition to this we should get a full night's worth of flying with this no problems So what we've done is we've soldered a jumper and our battery connector onto the ins and the outs of the buck converter. Now we need to set it up so that we get the right output. So oddly enough, as soon as I plug this thing in, we're already set for 6.169 volts output from the buck converter. This is just the LiPo plugged in to the buck converter. And rate right output, I'm measuring on the wires off camera. Sorry, I'm not really well prepared with my hands-free stuff today. But we're going to leave it right there. 6.1 volts is right where we want to be. Just a little over 6 volts, perfect. So let's go ahead and mount this thing. So we've got lots of room to work with in here. What we're going to do is we're going to stick this down in here and run the battery lead out. And in hindsight, what I should have done was run this through the case first, but... That's what happens when you get crazy making videos and don't pay attention. But that's all right. We're just going to punch a little bit bigger hole for the connector to go through. And it's just going to be a tiny bit uglier. Maybe I'll resolder it too. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, cut away and let's get this mounted. And there we go. Soldered on. We'll go ahead and set this down in with a little bit of hot glue. And we'll be all set.
Just drill the hole through the back of the case, feed our connector through. Make sure our wires are out of the way. Don't want to pinch anything because I left that wire a little bit long so I can service it later. And that's it. We're done. We'll just put this back together. A little bit of Velcro here. A little bit of Velcro here out of the way of your hand holds. And with any luck, we'll be all set, guys. Let's see what happens. And we're on and system initialize. Good to go. That in a nutshell, guys, is how you can add a LiPo to any transmitter. If you needed to adjust the buck converter, there's a simple potentiometer on it and just a tweak of the dial. Make sure you've got one for the right amperage and the right voltage. Most of them are in extremely wide voltage range, so it's all you have to do is worry about uh, the amount of amperage you're going to need for your particular transmitter. And like I showed you, that's easy enough to measure. And uh, that's it guys, we're good to go. Uh, this should last me a lot longer than the double A's and doesn't cost me much at all, just some hydro to recharge it. No more throwing batteries in the landfill. Hope you enjoyed this guys. If you uh, aren't a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button, throw a comment down below, share it with your friends if this helped you. Really appreciate it guys. Good luck in all your projects. Thanks for watching.